Thursday update, Tony George, DocSports.com. What's up? Mo Valley Tournaments, what's up? We're going to give you a Mo Valley Tournament free play. Another lean free play. Didn't do very good yesterday. College basketball didn't do very good yesterday. Northern Kentucky uh, in the Horizon uh, Conference Tournament. Uh, one by 11, we laid 12, 12 and a half for a big play. Uh, they were down seven and a half time to a team that they have dominated by 22 and 32 points this year. And another tumultuous day. If you look across the scoreboard in the landscape of college basketball, it is just death to smoochy. I mean, it is a tough call this year in college basketball. It's not an excuse. It's a fact. Um, the good thing is conference tournament action is here um, as well as postseason action here in March. And that's a different animal, the handicap. But there's a lot more advantages in the postseason than there is the regular season right now, and we're going to take advantage of it starting tonight in the Mo Valley Tournament. You're going to bounce right back with a four-unit play in the late game in the Mo Valley Tournament. Early game I'm going to give you for free. And also we have an AAC game for a total of a six-unit card in college basketball at DocSports.com. The NBA continues to absolutely pepper the books. 2-0 uh, and sleep last night for seven units gained right back after we had a rare loss. That's only two back-to-back -back losing cards since December 28th of 2018. Consistency is our middle name in the NBA. And tonight we have the winner in the Oklahoma City-Portland game for four units over at Docs. Sitting at plus 97 units now. I've got to get over 100 units. I will be at 101 units tomorrow. Get on this game tonight. It's on TNT Thursday. Watch it. Going to be short and sweet here today. Got a lot of media stuff going on here the next couple of days. Obviously, this time of year, do radio shows and podcasts throughout the country. So I've got to, I'm going to get get a couple of those going here today. Uh, check my Twitter at T George Sports. I did one with Joe Ranieri yesterday. Uh, when I do those videos with Joe, um, they're very candid and very raw and very off the collar, like what you guys are used to seeing me do right here on these videos. So. You know, check my Twitter and watch that, at T. George Sports. Look on my timeline, it's there. It's a 20-minute video on the Mo Valley Tournament. Okay? Only three losses in this tournament, I think, the last two years. So, let's get it going. Major League Baseball, quickly. You keep asking about Major League Baseball. The early beer discount is still intact. Yes, it was plus 144 units. Yes, uh, a $200 player won over 16 grand last year. Spreadsheets available at DocSports.com, if you don't believe me. Started out the season 23 and 5. Come on. Take advantage of the 150 off. Get on board all the way through the World Series. Right here, right now. Major League Baseball a couple weeks away. Boom. Can't wait. Let's get to your free play here tonight. And we'll get to it quickly. Uh, Indiana State taking on Valpo is going to be our official free play. I'm going to go with the totals play there. Um, and a small lean on the side. Also a lot of sharp players on New Jersey Tech out here against Lipscomb. That's just me telling you. A couple of texts I received today. Hey, Tony, take a look at this game. That's from a sharp better that bets about five grand a game. Uh, same guy that, well, anyway, long story short, um, they're catching 12 and a half against Lipscomb in that tournament. Um, Y'all know we've had Lipscomb a couple times this year for hidden gems, and uh, they're laying 12 and a half. But uh, I watched New Jersey Tech play Florida Gulf Coast the other night and beat them soundly. And they're catching 12 tournament time. I don't know. Uh, it's just I'm just giving you a tip. Somebody gave me my free play tonight. You take a look at Valpo and Indiana State here in the early game of the Mo Valley Tournament. Last five games, Valpo just has stuck up the joint. 58 points per game, allowed 66. Uh, and by the way, Indiana State is no offensive juggernaut. They are 66 points per game uh, on offense and allowed the same. Um, Valpo ended the season 0-3. Uh, straight up and against the spread. Shooting percentage-wise, take a look at shooting percentage. Both these teams hovering around 41% their last five games. Valpo, 21% from three-point range, which explains why in 29 games this season, they have went under in 20 of them. The total is 126.5. I like the under 126.5 in this game. Give a small lead to Indiana State minus a three, but I like the under in the Indiana State Valpo game in the Mo Valley Tournament for your free play. A small lead also on Indiana State. Late game in that tournament, get on it. Going to win it. Also throw in a two-unit bonus play in the AAC. And we have an NBA play tonight that's going to get 40 and 22 run. $100 player is up $7,600 now in the year, plus 97 units. 
Kim up. Have a great Thursday.